Hello everyone, we will be doing another example for chain rule of differentiation. Kapag given tayo ng composite function f of g of x, wherein yung g of x yung inner function natin, kapag kukuhari natin yung derivative niya, that is just equal to the derivative of the outer function na iniiwan lang natin yung inner function as is, hindi natin siya binabago, and then, tsaka natin siya imumultiply doon sa derivative ng inner function natin na g of x. We can write it down as dy over dx is equal to dy all over du. This is our outer function times doon naman sa derivative ng inner function natin na u with respect to x. Now let us use that dito sa ating example. We are given with y is equal to 4x minus 3 raised to 5 over 2x minus 1. As we can see, meron tayong rational function dito. Meron tayong 4x minus 3 kaso nga lang it is raised to 5. Kaya dito, gagamit tayo ng chain rule kasabay ng quotient rule of differentiation. Kaya let us recall, ano nga ba ang quotient rule of differentiation? If we are given with u and then v, tapos yung u yung nasa numerator, yung v yung nasa denominator, they are separate functions. Kapag kukuhanin natin yung derivative nila, this is just equal to, we copy the low, tapos kukuhanin natin, imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa taas, low times derivative of the high, Minus, kukopyahin natin yung nasa taas, u, tapos imumultiply naman natin siya sa derivative nung nasa baba na v. So we have low times derivative of the high minus high times derivative of the low. This is all over the square of our denominator v. Ito yung formula natin for the quotient rule of differentiation. Gamitin na natin siya dito sa example natin. So we have y prime getting the derivative. This is just equal to, we follow the formula. Kopyahin yung nasa baba, we have 2x minus 1. This is our u, yung nasa numerator. Itong 2x minus 1 naman yung v natin. So, we copy the low, we have 2x minus 1. Tapos, imumultiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa taas. Gagamit tayo ng chain rule. We let 4x minus 3 be our inner function. Tapos, ititreat natin yung derivative nitong buong to as a whole. This is our outer function. Kaya, gagamit tayo ng derivative of a power. So that is, kapag kumukuha tayo ng derivative ng x raised to a certain exponent n, this is just equal to ibababa yung exponent na n, and then we multiply it to x, then we subtract 1 dun sa exponent natin. So this is derivative of a power or power rule of differentiation. Gamitin natin to dito, our exponent is 5, siya yung ibababa natin. So we have 5 here, kapag binaba natin si 5, and then eto yung inner function natin, hindi natin siya babaguhin. So, you have 4x minus 3, the same. Tapos, yung exponent na 5 ay babawasan ng isa. So, this is 5 minus 1. This is the first part of our chain rule. Ngayon, kailangan pa natin siyang i-multiply dun sa derivative ng inner function natin na 4x minus 3. So, we multiply it to 4. Tapos, yung x natin, meron siyang exponent na 1. Kaya, applying power rule, siya yung ibababa natin. We have 4 times 1 times x. Tapos yung exponent na x initially na 1 ay babawasan din natin ng isa by power rule of differentiation. So this is 4, 4x, tapos we subtract, this is 3, constant lang naman siya. The derivative of a constant is just equal to 0, kaya ito ay magiging 0. Now we are done with the first part. Kinopya natin yung nasa baba, tapos we multiplied it dun sa derivative nung nasa taas natin. So we close this one, and then we subtract. Ito naman yung gagawin natin. We copy the high, eto, tapos i-multiply natin siya dun sa derivative nung nasa baba na 2x minus 1. So if we do that, we copy 4x minus 3 raised to 5, tapos tsaka natin siya i-multiply dun sa derivative ng 2x minus 1. Then we take the derivative, we have 2 here, tapos x lang din naman to kagaya nung nasa taas, meron siyang exponent na 1, so ibababa natin. Tapos yung x, initially, ay may exponent na 1, ay babawasan natin ng isa. Then, we subtract minus yung 1 dito. This is just a constant. The derivative of a constant is just equal to 0. Kaya, ito ay magiging 0. Then, following the formula, kailangan natin kuhanin yung square nung nasa denominator na v. So, that is 2x minus 1. Kukuhanin natin yung square niya. Kaya, this is all over our denominator. That is 2x minus 1 and then squared. Then, kailangan na lang nating isimplify yung nasa numerator. So, we have here, medyo mahaba lang siya ng kaunti. So, this is equal to 
Kopyahin pa rin natin si 2x minus 1. Tapos nakamultiply siya dito. You have 5 times 4x minus 3, still the same. Tapos yung exponent niya, you have 5 minus 1, that is 4. Tapos eto, this will become 4 times 1 is 4. Tapos eto will become x raised to 0. If we are given with a 0 exponent, that is just equal to 1. So this will become 4 times 1 times 1. So that is 4 minus 0, still 4. Kaya mag-simplify natin to here as 4. Then tuloy tayo dito sa kabila, we close this one. Minus, we have 4x minus 3. This is raised to 5. And then, nakamultiply siya dito. 2 times 1 is 2. Still, eto pareho din. This will become x raised to 0 or 1. So, we have 2 times 1 times 1. This is just equal to 2. So, we multiply it by 2. Then, mas madali na tignan yung numerator. This is all over our denominator. That is 2x minus 1 squared. Kaya pa siyang masimplify. Let us perform our multiplication na nasa loob. We have 5 times 4. So, we have here 2x minus 1. Kopihin lang natin. Tapos, we have 5 times 4. That is equal to 20. Rearranging our terms here. Tapos, kopihin natin to. We have 4x minus 3 raised to 4. And then, this is minus. Ilagay ko na lang sa unahan. So, you have 2 times 4x minus 3. And then, raised to 5. We have the same denominator. That is... 2x minus 1 raised to 2. Then, kaya pang masimplify yung nasa numerator, we can factor out 4x minus 3 raised to 4. Kapag ginawa natin yun, so we factor that out, we have 4x minus 3 and then raised to 4. Ang may iwan na lang sa loob ay etong 2x minus 1 times 20. But we can multiply this one. So we have 2x times 20, that is 40x. This is 40. Tapos 1 times 20, that is 20. So, we have minus 20 here. Tapos sa kabila naman, if we factor out 4x minus 3 raised to 4, may may iwan pa na isa. So, you have minus 2 times 4x minus 3. Ito yung naiwan sa loob. Still, our denominator is 2x minus 1 raised to 2. Then, ito, simplify na lang natin to. We have here 4x minus 3 raised to 4. And then, yung nasa loob, we have 40x minus 20, and then we multiply. Gamitin na natin yung sign. So, negative 2 times 4x, that is negative 8x, both negative. So, this will become plus 6. Then, we can perform our operation here. Kaya, this is all over the denominator, 2x minus 1 squared. Then, finally, our y prime will become, kopihin ulit natin to, we have 4x minus 3 raised to the fourth, times 40x minus 8x, that is 32x, tapos negative 20 plus 6, we have negative 14. And then, this is all over our denominator, that is 2x minus 1 squared. Then, this is our final answer. We were able to apply yung chain rule of differentiation natin within quotient rule of differentiation. I hope that you have learned something using this lecture video. See you on our next example for chain rule.